Hello? I'd like you to tell me about this project. All you have to do is give an honest account of your experience. Maniac is totally crazy, which I love. It's impossible to explain what it is. Do you have any sense why that's true? It's all different time periods, different types of people, different worlds. Maniac is a very kind of literal depiction of all the different sides to someone's existence. Tell me about this idea of connection. The main theme of Maniac is connection with other people. Connection's a better drug than anything that can be manufactured. Great. Welcome to the start of your new life. You will never be the same again. And action! Emma was the first person I asked for the project. I thought it was a really interesting concept. We were talking about who else would be great in the show, and he said that he had been hanging out with Jonah a lot, and I was like, oh my god, we have to FaceTime Jonah right now. And call my cell phone. And we were like, we're coming over. And Jonah was like, that sounds great. So we went over to Jonah's house. She kind of calls the shots, so she was just like, three of us are gonna do this TV show together. <laughs> and we were off making Maniac. Welcome, subjects. You are pioneers at the forefront of a new world. My character believes that you can basically remap the brain, that it's no different than a hard drive. I've simply found an elegant way to fix people. In the lab, you take a pill, they put an electromagnetic thing around your head, you close your eyes, and you go into these hallucinations. What the hell is going on? The consciousnesses of two of our subjects have been crossing. Every time I separate them, they just find their way back together. It's been a really cool gift as an actor to get to play so many people that all live within the same person. One day, I'm a Texan assassin, and the next day, I'm an elf with a British accent, and then I'm in Long Island stealing a lemur. Just call the cops and clear this whole thing No, up. I can't call the cops. This is an illegal lemur. Got it, check it, you look You can tell when people like each other and have respect and love for each other. That's a strong connection. Carrie's direction is amazing. He has a really distinct eye. He's great finding the most surprising moment that you didn't know was gonna be there before you walked on the set that day. He skips across so many genres. Telling this giant story while developing a whole aesthetic. He just knows exactly what he wants. I just let the actors know right away I have no idea what I'm doing. We just figure it out together. <laughs> How do you make someone okay? There really is nothing that can just fix you. In the end, Owen and Annie find healing in just making a friend. You just have one person that looks at you and gets you and understands you. It's kind of beautiful. Astronomical collision, biological union, these forces of nature demonstrate that all souls are on a quest to connect. Camaraderie, communion, Family, friendship, love. We're lost without connection. So is this therapy now? It's not therapy. It's...